Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my weekly real estate market update. I do hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, yesterday, or this week, I should say, the RBA has announced a cash rate hold again at 4.1%, which is going to be good news for mortgage holders and also those looking to enter the market as well. We're getting some certainty around the fact that the interest rate or the cash rate has reached its peak. May still see another rate rise this year, but at this stage, it looks less likely. The RBA has decided to keep it at 4.1% on the back that the inflationary rate has dropped again. So in July, it was down to 4.9% off the back of June, which was 5.4%. We're still seeing consumer spending lower as well, which is good news for everyone in the marketplace. However, rent prices are on the rise still. They've gone up, I think, 7% and electricity costs are up as well. So that's sort of offsetting how fast that inflation rate is falling. However, good news, it's on hold. The RBA has announced that it's 4.1%. In other news, this week, the uh, major four banks are now changing their forecast as far as property price goes, goes in Australia. So the CBA this week announced its forecast for 2023, suggesting property prices will grow by 7% in 2023 and a further 5% next year as well. A lot of the other banks are, are fairly aligned with that as well. Now, at the start of the year, the big banks were suggesting that prices would drop 6% this year, uh, and that hasn't happened. We've seen prices go up 4.9% this year, and it's looking like it's going to continue that trend moving forward. On all accounts, and I hate to sound like a broken record, um, there's a number of reasons why this is happening. Um, and the main one is really because there's a serious stock shortage. If you look at building approvals uh, for new dwellings in the past year up until the end of July, we we're at four year lows of new building approvals happening in Australia at the moment. So in the year two July, there was 175,000 new building approvals. And the, uh, the forecasts moving forward from the government, they're trying to achieve 240,000 new buildings every year for the next five years as part of their initiative. Um, and that's looking like less likely it's gonna happen as well. And then part of that reason is because the cost of building are, are quite high and the timeframes to build are quite high as well. So what we're gonna see now is a lot of those people that were looking to build a new home start to move towards established homes. So that's gonna push up demand there as well on top of the population growth, which is fairly high over the next few years. So the forecast is fairly high at least. Um, so that demand is going to push into that, that property market. And with stock shortages, we're going to see that demand push prices up further as well. So look, that's pretty much my wrap this week, guys. If you need anything, we've just sent out our suburb reports for all our, our clients in the area uh, in the Sunshine Coast hinterland this week. Um, if you've missed yours and you'd like a copy, make sure you get in touch. We'll send you a complimentary copy as well. For anything we can help you with real estate related, please get in touch. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Talk soon.